Be the Red Duck. Go crazy! Welcome back to the mid sack. <laughs> it is a slug em down, sip em slow. Sat Sunday, the redoubtable one, Thomas J. Izzo. Hi, question one, Audrey Melcher, back in the house. And guess who fell into the gig, America? Yes, 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 Lottie, Lottie. <laughs> Here you. comes some Tony from the great state of Michigan. <laughs> this is one lot and lads. We are coaches, we are Lottie men, Dottie. we are young men. Lottie Dottie, we call him Lottie Dottie on this set. He is a diehard Detroit sports fan, so we're not just relegated to East Coast America. We don't discriminate. Every we're sport. Midwest is in every house. sport. Every sport. Pretty much Michigan, yeah. Pretty much every Pretty sport. Much, yeah. Um, yeah, because Michigan State is where I went with college. Okay. Yeah. So nice. for college, Michigan State, Magic MSU. Johnson, just so you yeah. know. See the Tom Izzo yeah. for Tom, crying out loud. Tom Izzo. I mean, right here. Jesus so Christ. Christ. How did this Christ. not happen to him? Jesus Christ. How did this not happen to him? Tom Izzo for yes. crying out loud. You and I not figure that out. So we start there. Uh, we start then, there. You know, <laughs> yeah. the, the number one team in Detroit is always going to be the Lions. Right, yeah. I mean, just, oh, and okay, I, and that's, that's not, okay, and I, yeah. I say that because, it respectfully, Pistons, they're always going to be the fourth, sometimes the fifth team. And the Red, mm, Red Wings and Tigers are going to go two and three. They're always yep. going to flip. Damn, the Pistons gave some good moments. They, they did. did. They, they did. Not awesome. recently they haven't. No. Not no, in the last no, 10, 11, no. 12. But the moments the Pistons gave, pretty special. Yeah. Yes. They had special, right. special what I call mini runs, three to four years, where they were just That incredible. old four team. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That smack. Defensively? It. Shaq, Kobe. Yep. Carl Malone was on that team. Dude, Ben Gary Wallace, Pitt, who ben. went to school at Virginia Union. Yeah. Detroit. That's correct. Yep. Yep. Yes. And Chauncey Billups, Colorado. Speaking of Colorado, Ooh. America. Oh, see, transition now, see, that's what that's color what, do. That's why the three of us sit here because this is what we do that you can't teach. Okay, the bottom <laughs> line is this. Okay, the Colorado Buffaloes, as of this morning, were sitting at 17. They wiped the floor with Utah today, 49 to 24. And BYU and B- barely beat. Them. Barely beat. These two are on a collision. 23-22, right? These two, yeah, they're ranked sixth and undefeated. <clears throat> they're on a collision course. These two, and I hope it happens because wow, what a game this could be. Um, again, Shador Sanders do his thing. Hunter. Travis Hunter, please, Patriots, just don't win another game. Just get Travis Hunter. This kid is sit played. He's a highlight machine. The kid plays <laughs> offense and defense, and he's the best player in the country at both positions. Think about this. Okay, but wouldn't you okay. say, just like you said before, because mm-hmm. I've asked you this question, yeah. I agree. In the NFL, I just want him to catch touchdowns. Yeah, I want to play him. Just, just catch touchdowns. He's a generational talent. Don't get hurt playing corner. No, nope, no. Play with the Pats defense. They have The Pats have a shutdown yeah. corner, ironically. Right. That was the only thing, the last thing Belichick got right. You can Gonzalo find shutdown corners. Again. Yeah, we've nope. got, yeah, you can't find a kid like this very often. He is, he is unbelievably, he plays de- defense as well as he plays offense. Yeah. But. He got beat for the first time today. Yeah, today, he's like, yeah, so today, three uh, three catches, since you got touched, and I'm like, yep. Yeah, uh, nine games in, first time all year. Right. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, first time. But um, yeah. you are new to this. I want to give you the floor, man. Just tell these people a little about yourself. And, you know, you're an MSU guy. Yes, sir. Alumni. Yes, sir. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. The Big 12, you know a lot about the Big 12. Big 10. Big, Big 10. 10. Yeah, Big 10. It's Big 20. Yeah. How many teams are in this damn conference? <laughs> 16, the Big 13. Yeah, like 16 it's now. It's ridiculous. I yes. mean, <laughs> so you're from that neck of the woods. First yeah. of all, tell America a little about yourself and where the Michigan, where this bloodline goes. Sure. So originally, <laughs> originally from uh, Metro Detroit, so um, Commerce Township, way outside of Detroit, 45 mm-hmm. minutes in the suburbs, yep. um, and lived there from for almost for almost 20 years. <laughs> okay. And honestly, great sports. I was there during a time where the Red Wings won the Stanley Cup twice. The Red Wings had a run. Nice. Yes, they had a run. Pistons <laughs> won a championship. Yeah. The Tigers went to the pennant twice. Yeah. They won the pennant twice. They went to the World Series and lost in 06 Is that like Maglio or Donia? Correct. Or? Correct. Yep. Yeah. yeah that I mean, was, you guys had Verlander and we had, Scherzer too. You guys and, and David Price. There was a one point. Yeah. Win. <laughs> I was like, that team is good. We can say it all the time. Because, because their fucking closer hurt his arm playing the oh, fucking correct. guitar game. Correct. Correct. Is that true? I think one of their big bullpen arms. So this is this yeah, you're talking about 2006, yeah. um, and I, his name escapes me, but mm. I, I thought it was he was moving some stuff in the attic and hurt his arm or something. No, it was something. he was uh, playing Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. I wonder if that what was What the big, hell was his name? It's he a had, video he game. He had big hair, yeah. yeah. He hurt his arm doing that? Yes, he was like That's your eighth inning guy. Yeah, I can't like, even... Oh, like a setup. How do you hurt your arm playing Guitar Hero? You know, just... <laughs> what the hell was yes. he doing? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Now I gotta look it up. This is <laughs> now I gotta look it up. All right, so anyway, so, I, but, but then I so, never man. saw the Lions win anything, right? Yeah, uh, yes. So, yeah. so you, you got the Lions, and we've yeah. always said if the Lions ever won, oh. or just if they went to the Super Bowl, you have to understand this. This city would turn upside down. Yes, I mean, it, it, it it's incredible. Yes, it would. And we're gonna talk about. God, that they were too. close last year. Very close yeah, last year. Are. A little yeah. history on on the Lions. Yeah. Never was meant to be a football franchise, right? No. 
And here's why. Because you have <coughs> the Ford Firestone. The Firestone family married yeah. the Fords, right? Yes. Bill Ford. And for, William Clay Ford, senior. Yes. And for all those years, you know, that was the big knock on the Lions was that, hey, they're not football people. They're automotive people. Yeah. Right? Stay out. So when they're automotive people, they're just, why they're would just you making it happen with the tickets, right? So, hey, Same. we got visitors. What's going on? Yeah, as usual. Ooh. Remember how you said don't trip over I that thing. I thought he got hurt moving boxes or something. Yeah, like that? was that was that right? Same guy. Love you too. With all of was it, it Zamaya? Joel's come Amaya. on, Madison. There it is. Joel Zamaya. It took me a second, but Joel Zamaya. <laughs> back to the Tigers. We'll flip back and forth. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Tigers. No, let's go. No, let's go. Don't keep flipping back and forth. I want a background. We got to go into college right, so, football. Keep going. So, don't go as a kid. <laughs> as a kid, listen. Tangent a kid, Tom. Tangent Tom's at it again. Anyway, it, go ahead. It was a different time, right? Yeah. The silver. The Lions played the Silver Dome, right? The legendary. It's not there anymore. It's an Amazon warehouse. They mm-hmm. conveniently, uh, once they imploded the Silver, the Silver Dome, Dome. is now an Amazon warehouse. Yeah, the Amazon bought the land, and the cool thing was they uh, painted uh, Honolulu blue and silver all around the the warehouse. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of kind of a cool little. Oh, that's thing. neat. Yeah, all the all the the palace is gone. Uh, yeah. The palace was. Wow. Uh, you know, Tom Gorris owns the Pistons, which well, must have got some side deals. The to... palace was where the brawl happened. Correct. Yes. Correct. Correct. Right, and that okay. they left in '16, and that was just uh, leveled huh? not maybe a couple years oh, ago. Wow. I gotta tell you, Joe Louis Arena also gone. Yeah, Joe. The, yeah, the, the Joe was kind of a Joe, dump toward the end. But what it, was the, the Joe? The Joe Louis Arena is, is where hockey. the Red Wings play a lot yeah. of concerts. Yeah. That all kind of shifted a little Caesars Arena, what it is now. But anyway, I leave Detroit. I come to this fine community in yeah. just outside of Richmond. Yes, Shout Magnolia Green. Just Holy. beautiful place. The Lions get good after I leave. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> last yeah. year, That's you know, the, biggest, works. <laughs> the biggest thing we ever wanted was just to win a playoff game. That was it. We didn't win a playoff game in 30 years, 30 plus mm. years. So they finally win the playoff game. They win another one and go to the NFC Championship. And they hadn't been there since 91. Barry. God damn. So Barry. close. Still one of the four franchises, though, that have not been to a Super Bowl. Nope. Can you have the other three? Ever. Detroit Lions is oh one. My God. The other three are technically. Expansion. Yeah. Jacksonville. Jacksonville is yeah, correct. Is one, you got yeah. two more. Yeah. Arizona. Mm-hmm. Nope. No, no they've been there. They lost to the they Steelers. They lost to the Steelers. I forgot yeah. about that one. Um, no. Who is it? Uh, the Chargers have been there. They lost to the 49ers. Yeah. Um, Texans. The Texans. Texans. Yeah. And then your last but not least. Uh, is there another Florida team? No. No. Tampa's one. So is Miami. This is this is um, always kind of the, the one that confuses people. Okay, so so give them again. It's Detroit. You got Detroit, Houston, Jacksonville, and you got one other one that has not um, been to Houston. A Super Bowl. There's three. So Detroit, yep. Jacksonville, Houston. Who's the fourth one? There's one other. Uh, I will give you a hint. Many say. Not, <coughs> not me. I'm, not, I'm just saying many, not me. Minnesota. The mistake by the lake, if you know where that oh, is. Oh, the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns. Right. That's right. Oh, They've never been. Now, now yeah. technically, the old franchise has, if you want to get technical and say, that's, well, they no, moved to Baltimore, no, that, and that's yeah. technically, right? Mm. But, no, that's not. Okay, but they, yeah, yeah. they're the so they're the four. So representing that city, they've never had a, the Honolulu Blue, as we're representing tonight. That's crazy. They are the only <clears throat> original NFL franchise that has never made it. Because if you think about it, yeah. you got those are all expansion. Yeah. So it's it's Ooh. if they make it, just make it, dude. I got. People how can you not it. root for them? As, as, yeah, they are they are the Chicago Cubs base, of the NFL. If your team isn't in it. I, Pretty I easy love to root for. their coach. Um, yeah. I love the receivers. I love that Jared Goff was cast off, and then Matt Patricia almost killed him, but he wasn't there long enough, thank God. And then this guy comes in, and now Jared Goff's one of the, Jared Goff has a shot at winning league MVP. He does. He really does. Yeah. yeah. He really does. And he's had a great year. He, in a league where everybody says you have to draft your quarterback. Yeah. You have to draft a top two no. quarterback. Yeah. The Lions did not do that. And Amon Ross St. Brown. Mm-hmm. Damn that boy! He's good. awesome. Now, yeah, when he was at USC, he, I mean, he was good. Yeah, he wasn't like jump not, off the screen. Not this. Yeah, they must have held him back. That he dude's is a worker. Re- he's sick, and he speaks multiple languages too. Yeah, he's very. Yeah, I've listened. To I know him. he speaks he's, German for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I believe he speaks it's military, German. Military kid, I believe. Yeah. Holy he's shit! He's a military kid. I mean, just an how, how are you just gonna be good at everything? Just well, he is. Hey, he's he's sometimes you get lucky like that. Yeah. Athlete. Yeah. You're smart as fuck. He might. You know, he reminds me. You know, who knows? He reminds me of Jalen Brown. Yeah, the Celtics yeah, very much dude. like him. Reminds me of him. That very dude. smart. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, but that I'm so glad he is here. He will be here whenever he wants on oh. Saturday nights. Awesome, awesome. Because I, 
I love that. I love when you get to do these because honestly, at some point during the night, this turns into a, a melee in a good way. Um, as long as he's and, not entertaining the masses. No, it's uh, yeah. As long as not, it's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. then he'll no be worries. here entertaining here. the masses. That's what I'm saying. And actually, here you're giving back more. Dude, um, and you're entertaining by the tens of people. Yes, it's awesome. Tens. That's what we do. By the five, by the ones, the ones of five. You by the twos. We're trying to get. We're trying to get clicks tonight. You know, we're trying to get clicks, dude. That's all it's about. Dude, we are entertaining. Let people know we're live. Yes, we are big in Belgium. Yeah, that's right. Belgium. We talked about that last. Yes, we are big. Yeah. And so anyway, but look, we were all, I, I'm glad we got to, you get to see him and you will see him again. Um, and it's Lottie, Lottie Toddy? Lottie, Lottie Dottie, Lottie, baby. Lottie Dottie. That's cool. Like Lottie it. Dottie brings the Toddy. Anyway, the point is this. So the, 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 the college football game day does this damn, now that this playoff, this 12 team thing is there. Every week they're doing an <laughs> updated bracket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, and as we're talking to you right now, we have, of course we have a Donnie in the brook. Tell it's set, what we're talking about. Look at this game. It's this is the Dago bar. This is Saturday. Night. This is what happens. Tennessee, we got, Georgia. We got number seven, Tennessee, number 12, Georgia, who's on the bubble for making this playoff. We have them in a minute. It's 17, this 17. It, this game is in Athens too, by the way. By the All way, the way in Greece. Oh. By the way, do you see what happened? You, uh, you Can you believe it. they're in Greece? No, they're. <laughs> <laughs> and what are they in Santorini? You know, you almost had me for a second. You, you were like, oh, well, I was like, are they playing overseas? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, Athens, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, on the game day, game? on game day, they always give someone like a chance to make a forty-yard field goal for eight hundred thousand yep. dollars. And the kid not for eight hundred. Eight hundred thousand. Well, he hit it today. But usually, he it's hit not it. that oh, much. Man, God bless. Eight hundred. They, awesome. they kept raising. That's yeah, because nobody could make it. This is the first time ever to make it. <laughs> yeah. Forty-yarder, nailed it right between Dude, the pipes. He, oh, he, oh, it was he awesome. Crushed it. He crushed it. That's Place awesome. went nuts. It, I love that ESPN does that. But anyway, before that awesome kick, they got into this updated bracket, and again, there's five automatic bids, and there's seven at large. Mm. Now, the SEC, as you guys both know it has eight ranked teams right now or at least they did coming into today and right now as we speak we've got two of them and one of them is the bubble team this was the 13th team according to ESPN Georgia is right now on the outside looking in Crazy. which I wanted to throw this at these two now they have two losses again they've played a tough schedule but again when you look at who's in front of them all 12 of those teams are deserving yeah. I'm not saying they're sure. better yeah I'm not saying they're better but there isn't one team that I look at them and go, this, what the hell are they doing there? They're all there. They're all yeah. deserving of being there. But I want you to choose take on this again. And this <laughs> this could change everything tonight. But I think we all agree if Georgia loses this game tonight, they can't get in unless a bunch of three lost teams that suddenly appear. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, may happen. Who the hell knows? But right now, if they lose this game tonight, they're out. They're out with three losses. And again, these It feels three like lo- Georgia's better than Tennessee, though. Well, you're looking at it. I guess they're not. Pretty even. And it's in Georgia. It's a lot of parody now it's in the Georgia, SEC. It's not again, quite so tough. Now, you had asked me, I think it was you who asked me, asked me about this today, yeah. about how do you think that the – actually, no, it was at the, uh, at the football game. <laughs> the, the guy was asking me about, do you really think the talent is already spread out? Because this is like the weirdest season they've ever seen in college football. I'm like, yes, it has. The second this 12-team bracket came out, the NL went berserk. Guys are going everywhere now because you don't have to go to four or five schools to get in that game now. You can go it's anywhere. It's crazy that it would happen. You can go that it's fast. It's crazy that it would impact that fast. Well, think about the money factor, too. Is this the first year or is this the second? This is the first year of this playoff. It hasn't happened yet. And it, look what happened. This They knew it was going into effect this year. God. This offseason, there were more moves than you can read about. And it's made this incredibly exciting. And I now, love this. You could lose one or two games. Yeah. And actually, you might still make the playoffs. You might still make <laughs> Right, right. And so this is why I love it thing. because I thought before it was – and I don't, these guys – and Tom and I have talked about this. Mm. These guys are money grubby. Why didn't they think of – they're all they want to do is make money. They should have done this 30 years ago. <laughs> Do you know how much money this is going to bring in? And it's going to be like March Madness. Think about all the gambling and the brackets. And the, you think about what's about to happen here in a couple of weeks when these yep. brackets come out. Yep. Oh, my God. There's going to be office pools. Everything that happens with the basketball mm-hmm. tournament is going to happen with this. And your 13, 14, 15 mm-hmm. yep. guy are going to all complain that they didn't get in. Which is what? And, if, and here's the thing. Here's my question to you two. Which is like 69 and 70. Team, team Would be. But, but getting all upset. But like in, in the, the March Madness. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah, but, exactly. But, exactly. But, but here's we the thing. We were 68th in the yeah. country, not yeah. 69th. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. Exactly. You fucking liars. Yeah, but yeah. That, with that feel, that's why you can say that because you're 69. Fuck yeah. off. It's like, exactly. but here's the thing. Yeah. But, you can't say that about 13 right. if you think you're football. the 12th, If you think you're the 12th, then they rank you Because, 13th. and here's the thing, and this is selfish for me because I just want I want to see this 16 team playoff already because I know this is going to be amazing. If Georgia doesn't get into this playoff, do you know what that's going to do to push that? Think about it. 
Oh, if Georgia does not get in this playoff, It'd be like they, Georgia and Alabama missing. Yeah, they're like you're telling like, me the 13th best it. team, and I'm gonna make it 16. Well, the, 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 the Georgia <laughs> not getting in, you are, Georgia not getting in would prompt because I understand Georgia loses tonight. Georgia has the case. We lost to three top 10 teams. How are we not in this thing? And they lost to them all by like a touchdown. You mentioned the money. Yeah, I mean they want these big brands. They in want. Them. <laughs> they, I mean it's just what. But it's the way if the world. Jo- I personally for sale, yeah. I, mean, I want so Georgia. Root for Tennessee. Man. Yeah, I want Georgia out because this will push this faster. Root for Tennessee. You're, you're gonna have, Tennessee. some of this is gonna shake out because you got yeah. Ohio State playing Indiana yeah. this week. Yeah, no, and, things are gonna shake <laughs> out. Well, if Indiana has one loss, it's at Ohio State. True, true. They could still <laughs> I mean, kind of back their way. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. The, they're the two strongest they gotta conferences. Be in there. The two no. toughest conferences in the country are the Big They'll Ten. They'll likely play. And the SEC. Well, what are right. they right now? What is Indiana? They're right five. Eighth. Or eighth? Eighth. eighth? eighth. So undefeated. Yeah, BYU sixth. And loss could push them down. Yeah, it could. Because they're But if it's at Ohio right. State. No, no. I'm not saying if they might have to play Ohio State touch. again in, in the, the Big Ten Championship. Because they're not doing it by divisions anymore. No, but so. the thing is, if their one loss is at Ohio State by right, touchdown, yeah, no, you don't no, kick no. them out for that. No, 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 crazy. But, but maybe like 10. Do you drop them to 10? If Ohio, what's Ohio State? Two right now? Yeah. I don't know how far you drop them. No. Maybe a couple. I don't know. 10? If they're I eight. I think you drop 10. Because, okay, if they're eight, I Because they 10. don't want Indiana in there. Why? It's a great Indiana's story. A good story. It's a great it's story. It's old JMU coach. You brought a lot of his players. Oh, it is. It is. Yes. That's why it's been so that. great. Yeah. Tommy, Colorado has a okay, shot this okay. thing now yeah, yeah, because of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, you're this is why we you're, love this you're thing. Guy. Yeah, why do you yeah, love March right, Madness? Right, the I'm underdog. Sorry. My yep. The <laughs> underdog. Isn't that why we watch March Madness? The underdog. Of course. We're all trying to pick the fourth, the five, the fourth, the fourth, the I was just thinking about it like, Indiana, for me, Indiana's barely even a basketball school anymore. Yeah. So I don't get excited right. when But they're they first a basketball school, right? Like right. even of if they're course. barely yes. right, yes. right, 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 right. Yes. So, yep. so to hear so when I saw that I was like I'm You can't take them serious. I'm not interested in them. But now that you just explained to me what's yes. going on there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a lot of this nil. That that's coaches nice. are saying. moving, they're bringing their guys, they're getting yeah. them paid. This has leveled yep. the playing field. Because now you can go anywhere. Like just mid-major like mid-major college players mid-major going to a co- bigger yeah, school yeah. like transfer. I mean, now you can see more of the Randy Moss story that comes out of Marshall. Look at him. Right. You're going right. to see more of that now, yep. which is going to be great <laughs> for the game. It's because right. it's yeah. this. Is, I said this is going to be just like March Madness, but on a football field. And and, and by the way, America has been waiting for this probably for 50 years. Oh my god. Probably for 50 years. And they've been for doing me. it in Division Two. Yeah, for right? the 1A. 1A is doing 1A, it yeah. forever. Forever. 16-team right? like, tournament. Everybody yeah, loves it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, is, and does it, this would kill that on a, a level factor of 10 in terms of money it will bring. But, of course, they didn't do bowls, so they had their own system. I know. And I think those bowls generated a lot of cash. They did, but not. They didn't realize this, how much this more is they going probably to blow. could have made. Right. You know this is going to. People are going to. And if you still want to have bowl games, fucking do it. They're going to use if, them as the yeah. playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it's like. And that would be smart. Like, And a lot of us have been saying that for years. Like, what if they. Yeah. That, Why isn't the Rose Bowl like in that round, round could be the piece? Yeah, I mean the exactly. Rose Bowl, right. the Rose Bowl yeah. should be a national yeah. semifinal for the college football. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You know what I mean? It should be like that. The Rose Bowl, the, yeah. the Orange Bowl, they, like the, the, the Cotton Bowl, the Fiesta yeah, yeah. Bowl. Yes. Yeah, these are all like these big are like brand national games. semifinal yeah. games where yeah. they should be played. They're historic, and those are historic. The venues. Fiesta Bowl, yes. yes. Yeah. The, Cotton Bowl. The, Cotton yeah. Bowl. the Cotton Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Fiesta Bowl. The, Don't I like forget the about Fiesta. the Sugar Bowl. The, I, I, oh, I love you got to roll the Sugar Bowl. 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 Sugar Bowl. A lot of legendary Sugar Bowl. I, I, I kind of like the Orange Bowl. Little under. Yeah, right. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Little underrated. No, it's a January one bowl. It's never been underrated. Okay, sorry. It's yeah, one of the big. It's one of the big five. There's five. What I meant by underrated was perfectly rated. You're probably thinking like Capital One, or used to be the Citrus Bowl. That's a little. That's a little step down. They changed the Citrus Bowl to the Capital One. That's what I guess. Did. Orange, and then cut out something I guess different. Orange I think Bowl makes citrus. me think of Florida, and I feel like Florida hasn't been strong in a while. Like, not that yeah. strong. Yeah. Well, if Miami would be in this thing, too. Mm. And I've loved their. They finally got another the, big brand. Another big no, brand. That hasn't been big in football. It, no, though. but now that this no. now that this 12 team, you watch what's going to happen. Yeah. Last year it was Florida State. They were 13 0, and they lost their quarterback. Yeah. If that kid didn't go down, Florida State might have won. That What's kid his was name? Nasty. Jordan Travis or something? He got drafted. He's with who? Who's with who's the I Jets? Oh, did they draft him? I thought that you told me you told me the Jets oh, took him, I think. They might this kid was him. filthy. And he went down in week eight or nine. They won yeah. four games after he went down. Yeah, and they, they were that good. And by the yeah. way, that was the that was and I know they would have probably they lost. Yeah. But how do you go 13 0 and you you get punished? I was kind of they were collateral was, damage for we yeah, need yeah. a playoff. Now, yeah, that was right? terrible. Like, I was that, I was, was kind of terrible. against them getting in. I kind of feel bad for that. Anyway. Yeah. I'm already on the extra. Okay. We're on the same. Okay. That's all good. Um but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, as of today, if this thing had started, they had Georgia on the outside looking in. So my question to you two is if Georg
Oh my! You know what if BYU? Ohio State would what if losses. what if BYU runs the table and then they lose to Colorado in the championship game? Like what? Do you, this is the thing. And 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 look, I think this will work itself out. And this will not end up being an issue. If they have three yeah, yeah. losses, they're out. If if, if Georgia yeah. loses, this oh, one hundred percent, they're yeah. out. They should be out. Yeah. I don't want to hear it, Nick Saban. I respect you, Nick Saban, but no. If they yeah. lose tonight, they're out. They got to win this game. Yeah, you got you get three <laughs> losses. Got to win this game. Three <laughs> losses. You could probably get away with a three loss team depending on their <laughs> schedule. If, if you're have like a, number twelve, look, you know I, what I mean. I get the case for this. If they lose this game twenty to seventeen, right by a field goal. Yeah, like and then they're ranked higher, by the way. Okay, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like what do you know? And then they've lost at Alabama by five, and right. they've lost at wherever it was Vanderbilt by three. They're ranked two, by the way. Now, I mean, so. Vanderbilt's good. That's crazy too. Vanderbilt should have beat uh, what's in Alabama. Yeah, they Vanderbilt's been. Who was not, Vanderbilt's big win this year? Georgia. 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 I mean, so that was that was the one where Nick said, you know, I know one thing at Alabama, we didn't lose to Vanderbilt. Yeah, right. And we yeah, got damn close. So right. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was right. Nick Saban, old a, Michigan State coach, when I was yeah, there. it was such a burn. But anyway, but my I thing is, yeah, yeah, my thing is, do and, you like and, him? I love Nick Saban. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of there's a lot of East Lansing folks that were really upset with him when he left to go to LSU because LSU wanted to pay him like five million dollars more. Why wouldn't he go? Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. He got Michigan State to a ten and two team yeah. uh, that won on New Year's Day. Yeah, and you know, it was a good that was a good football team. Mm. Yeah, but that was probably as good as it was going to get in East Lansing. You, mm. You're competing against uh, at that time. Yeah, he wasn't a name yet. You're not quite. He became a name quite. at LSU. He came to goes to LSU. Yeah. Went to the Dolphins for a couple of years. Turned yeah. them around. Yeah, he won a national him. title at LSU. First. I kind of saw he did, yes, and, that, that and that's what, the thing. Like he won a national. Nick title. goes wins a national title. Yeah. Uh, Verlander left the Tigers. Goes and wins a, a, a World, World Series. Series. Yeah. They were banging Scherzer. on the trash cans. Yeah. Sure. So Scherzer. we're watching these guys win. Same thing happened with uh, uh, one Matt Stafford. Did the same thing. We're like, mm. oh my god. That was Matt Patricia's fault, by the way. Oh my god, that was. A, that was See, a, by the way. Ma- he has also Patty. he has Don't also like been Patty. burned by oh. Matt Patricia. It's oh, not pencil, just, man. He, was he almost destroyed Patty Jared Goff. He destroyed the. Oh my God! See, this is the reason <laughs> Dan Campbell's first kneecaps press conference. I mean, everybody remembers it. It was just super weird, right? Yeah. But I remember saying, "Man, he reminds me of Wayne Fonts," and that was everybody loved Wayne back in the early '90s, late '80s, early yeah, '90s. He, he was a good coach. Run. He was a defensive coach, but he was the one that drafted Barry. Yeah, he drafted Barry. And then everybody liked Wayne. Like, when they fired Wayne, it was like, wow, they're going to fire Wayne? And then Bobby Ross came in. That was kind of the the beginning of the end for Barry Sanders Mm -hmm. because they didn't use him the same way. And And Bobby Ross was more – he wasn't cool with everybody. He was, you know, very military guy, former Army coach, right? Uh, So, yeah. um, But, yeah, so – it. We're tired of people leaving and going to win in titles. That was yeah. that was that's a rough one. You yeah, know what that I mean? sucks. Yeah, that does suck. So yeah. now to be able to have Jared Goff dominate, right? Yeah, you got a guy like Dan Campbell that's yeah. come back, and that's why everybody likes him because yeah. he's Both he's relatable. Yeah. he's cool. Yeah, the the media likes him. Yeah. he's just a super nice guy, yeah, yeah. and he looks like in real life if you meet him, he's he reminds me of a he WWE for the Lions, right? And the he's Cowboys. A, yeah, he's a, he was an interim guy. coach for the Dolphins. Yeah. Uh, for a couple games toward the was end he a of tight that, end? he took on he was he yeah. was yeah. then he was a tight ends coach at um, the New Orleans Saints that, interesting before that he you guys came seem in. to have like a shitload of good tight ends now you do yeah so Sam Laporta I mean and, and then got, and then if he goes down you, you another traded guy on the bench too. they traded Hawkins in the division Hawkinson. and it didn't hurt you didn't even the guy he's a hell of a player and when Laporta gets hurt you got another guy yeah because they didn't want they is that all because of Campbell probably could be he knows he knows he knows but he looks like he looks like a wrestler like he looks like he could definitely be in like the WWE I mean dude is just a big dude jacked to just but can you imagine if he coached Gronk. Oh my god! Could you imagine those two together? Oh, my oh god. my god! They'd be great. They'd be fucking great. It would oh be god. unbelievable. But anyway, back to the college football playoff. You guys are obviously excited about this twelve-team playoff, probably as much as I am. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, no, you're more excited about it than me. Well, I've been waiting for it forever because <laughs> I've been, you know, the BCS just take out the C, and yeah. um, that crap. We had to go through that crap for twenty years. That was awful. It's just, <laughs> it's just and then their their ability like, to rig it up. A yeah, bit, you know, yeah. And then you know, wanted. you you play a Final Four like, dude, there's twenty five ranked teams. You can't play a Final Four. That makes no sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did that, and finally, this Dude, fucking thing is for years been waiting for this. So, but just you know, gut reaction right now, based <clears> on what <throat> you're seeing here. If you had to pick uh, the favorite right now, who do you think is the favorite to win this thing? The whole thing, right now. You start with me. Yep. Man, I still like the Buckeyes. Yeah. I still like them. They got arguably they barely, the best they wide barely receiver lost in at, the Big Ten. Yeah. In the Big Ten for sure. Yeah. Some people say he'd be a first round pick if he left. Mm. Some say it over on JJ Smith. Yeah. I got yeah. to see him personally on the at the end of September. I was back in East Lansing, went to the game. Yeah. It just happened to be the Ohio State game. Didn't expect to win, but. 
and we didn't. Yeah. Uh, but uh, watching him, it's like it's like when you see a, a senior basketball player playing with little kids. Yeah. It was like the, obviously the best player on the field. Yeah. So I don't know. I just have I have a they have a decent quarterback. They're just fast the on defense. Thing? I like Ryan. I don't mind Ryan Day. Him. Yeah. I don't know if he can win the big one. Yeah, he's something that's, about him. That's one. Uh, that's I, he is. He is not a likable guy. He's not. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. hate Super him. Super serious. Super serious. Yeah, that's a very. I, uh, Ohio State's a very. Uh, the, the Ohio State fans are incredibly serious. They're yeah. they're dedicated to just watching like the the, the portal and well, who's funny. coming out of high that school. That is pretty true. Yeah, that's it is. Great. I mean, Ohio State fans are cray cray, yeah. but they're dedicated, man. And that's really you know that in that area of yeah. the state, that's all they got. That's all they got. You know. Yeah, Columbus. That's it. So, yeah, so <laughs> I kind of like Ohio State. Like I said he they lost. By one to Oregon, okay, and and there's something about Dan Ga- or right. Gabriel I just never I can't grasp onto. I think he's good. Okay. He's a mobile quarterback. So all right, you know, I'm going like to ask you the follow up, and then he's going to get yep. the same question. All right, so you, you, Ohio State is your favorite right now. Okay, yep. as of today, and yep. again, that is subject to change. We'll see what yep. happens. Yep. But Absolutely. as of right now, all right, now give me a dark horse. Ooh, a dark horse. Give me a dark horse. A dark horse. Yeah. I don't know. That is a good question. Yeah. I mean, I do like Tennessee a lot. They could be a dark horse. And I feel like that would be my choice. Just watching them. Nobody's talking about Tennessee So Tennessee is kind of like, uh, what were we just talking about when we were like, I can't take, oh, Indiana football, right? Hmm. See, I don't know know if I can take Indiana seriously yet. I know know, know who their coach is. That's going to depend on what they do against Ohio State. Exactly. And I still think Ohio State wins that game. But but, it's close. But Tennessee's kind of that same team where I'm like, I don't know if I, I want to take them serious yet. But when I watch them, I'm like, the eye test tells me they're really good. The thing then, is, right? like, so. they're ranked in the top. They're ranked there, and they've been under the radar. I feel like yeah. that, that program yeah. has been pretty good for a few years. It has. They've started it's to come like, back. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Guys that are going to the league. He's yeah. a good coach. He you know? is a good coach. Yeah, he is. And he and, hasn't um, missed many meals. No, he does not miss meals. <laughs> is he a big guy? He's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. All right, so you've got Ohio State, Tennessee. All right, interesting. All right, Ohio State, Tennessee. Say now to you, give me a favorite right now. Okay, so this is a very ill informed opinion. It's the eye test. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't watch enough college football. The first, the first name that comes to my head is Texas. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, yeah, Texas been, would be like my number two team. They've like, been pretty yeah. consistent all year. I could see that. Yeah. But I can't really tell you why. I don't know how many Texas games I've watched. Well, they, they run the football based, well. Yeah. They, they got a couple of great quarterbacks. They went you know, Arch Manning's their backup. You yeah, know what I mean? So he's the backup. They're, yeah. They got great receivers. What is their record right now? They've got one loss. One loss. Who'd they lose to? They lost at, where were they? It, it was, was a, a good team. It, it was, was a good team. Did they lose Alabama? No. Mm, Who did they play? Somebody beat them. Oh, my gosh. No, a Georgia went in and beat them. Georgia beat them. Georgia okay. beat them. Okay. Yeah. And they just scored a touchdown. And they just scored a touchdown. <clears throat> Pending flag. Pending, Pending flag. flag. Pending flag. So, all right. So, Texas is a good one. I like Texas. Yeah, that's a favorite. Yeah. Absolutely. Not mad about that. No, that makes sense. And then, think about a dark one. I know you want to go with this one. <laughs> you want me to say Colorado? I, mean, I think you want to. Say I would. Yeah. I mean, I, would I think love. you want to say. I think you're pissed off. You got to hide. But from it. I think you want to come in here and I'm say not, to the I'm mic. Not, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I just. I don't know that they could play with some of these teams. I still. I still distrust them a little bit. But that's why they're a dark horse, though. It could be a dark. But horse. for me, a dark horse, like I feel good, like they're gonna sneak up on people. They could sneak up on people. They could. I don't know. Let me ask you this. From a skill, I hope so. hold on. From a skill position standpoint, they stand up. Do they take a backseat to anybody? Not really. They really no. don't. No. They really don't. The question was always <laughs> the like interior when they, lines. When they play a team like Oregon, though, we haven't seen it yet. But they, from a skill set, can they hang with them? Offensively, they can. The question is, can their defense? But last year they couldn't. Yeah, that's yeah. always been the big. The defense problem. is the question. I think they can keep up with them. Somebody with the else. Standpoint. Somebody else bitch slapped them early in the year. Who was it? Who, last year? No, this year. Uh, they got bitch slapped. Nebraska. Like Nebraska. At Nebraska. That one kind of concerns me. It was early. Yeah. yeah. Nebraska seemed to be good early. And then they, they ran to Ohio State. Always, and Ohio State yeah. bitch slapped. They've them. always like, been in our, like I said, they've been apart. in the Big Ten for a long time now. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Nebraska, late 90s, yeah. if you look at Nebraska's losses, yeah. they're all to heavyweights. Sure. They are. Sure. I mean, I don't know and, how bad they and are. And Rayle is a good quarterback. I mean, yeah. he was, he was I mean, highly recruited kid. He's a freshman. His, uh, his he's dad got, was our center. Yeah, uh, Nebraska is going to get Dominic better Rayola. if this kid stays. Really? Was our uh, center or left guard? I can't remember. He was on the offensive line for sure. Yeah, um, that's cool. So yeah, yeah, he was he was a hype hype man too. Yeah, before he'd hike the ball, he'd be like, you know. <laughs> so so if, all right, so if not Colorado, if you don't think it's them, give me give me a dark horse, bro. I don't even know. Is Ole Miss in the? Uh... They're in it. Mm-hmm. They're not a quiet I one. With them. Didn't they just beat somebody big? They've been ranked in the top ten all year, but they, they did lose. I think week? they just fell out of the top ten. Did they? They did. They got two losses now. Hmm. hmm. But I don't think they got lost. They didn't lose to a bad team. So you, so you don't yeah, think they're going to get in? I think they could get in. 
Yeah, they've been not with three time. losses already. They got they've two got losses two already. right now. Yeah, so but they're but they're both the highly Will they run out? Well, they've lost the to Georgia, and they've they got to play SEC to, championship. Play right? Georgia's like three and three against the top. Did Miami 20. fall out of the top ten? Uh, they fell to nine after their loss. Miami's um, still there. Yeah, they were undefeated. They lost. They they got a pretty good whooping. Maybe I'll go with um, Miami. Okay. 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 Because here's my reasoning. My only hope for NFL football right now. Is, is that the Giants either get Cam Ward or yeah, Shador Cam. Sanders? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they'll be my two dark horses yeah. Yeah. in this playoff. Okay. Yeah. Um, there you go. There and, you go. I, and I hope the Giants just yeah. shit all over themselves for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and we get nothing lower than the second. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we're going to end this segment on my. I, I see both of those. They both make sense. Uh, my favorite right now, and yes, this is a homer pick, but I tell you right now, the best team they've had in 15 years, Notre Dame. Notre Dame, and Notre Dame's defense, by the way, is elite. They beat they're elite. down Virginia today. They, yeah, they they whipped Virginia today. Um, they've been they've been mm. rolling people since that one stupid loss, and they've been rolling people since. Like they, it's like they're still mad. Very, about it's it. quiet. It's though, yeah you know, because Notre yeah. Dame's like a big yeah. brand. Yeah. Okay. This are. is the Notre Dame team, mind you. Mm-hmm. That how many weeks ago do you think it was that we had them on our frauds of the week? <laughs> that was when. That was in Notre Dame. Yes. That was a long time. When they lost to Northern Northern Illinois, that was their loss. That was their loss. That was their right. loss. They were, and since oh, yeah. then, yeah. they were one of our frauds of the week. Yeah. yeah. And since then, they've been bending everything in their path <laughs> over. That's crazy. And they have literally, they went into Navy, beat them 52 to 14. It wasn't that close. They yeah. beat, they went into Purdue and won 66 to 7. Who, like, had, who hasn't done that at Purdue, though? Yeah. Ohio State didn't beat them that day. <laughs> Ohio State had them at home, and they didn't do to them what Notre Dame did to them. <laughs> That's my point. Notre Dame is legit. I'm telling you right now. They're my. They, I'm telling you, people are going to be Penn shocked. Penn State just did that to Purdue. They should have. They're ranked. Top, they're a top ten ranked team. They should have done that. But the point is, Notre Dame. Yeah, if Franks, Notre Dame were frauds, they wouldn't have gone out. And Jimmy ran. Franks always good for a disappointment. Jimmy Franks, bro. Oh, he, why good. are you going to tell me Jimmy Franks is a, is a good one there? No, but it's Purdue sucks. Right, <laughs> but you but you're talking about how. Notre Dame went in there and destroyed them. They, their they worst, suck. their worst yeah. loss of the year is to Notre Dame. Right, but they That's, suck. You yeah, but I know. It. But Notre Dame's beat them worse than everybody else has beaten them <laughs> by a lot. I might add. <laughs> so, and then they go in today. They bend over Utah. And they bend over the Navy. biggest loser, worse than anybody else has bound to the biggest. They went. Loser. They went into Clemson. They bitch slats Clemson like they were nothing. They've been rolling people. Okay, they rolled UC, USC. They're rolling people. Okay, so the thing is, USC has now become a women's basketball school. It should. That girl's nasty. Juju Watkins. Watkins Juju Watkins is still amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm going to go with the that. Irish as a favorite. As of right now, <clears> now they lose okay. next week, but they rolled again today. They crushed Virginia. I can't believe um, you're going with the Irish. An Irish, yep. And my wow. dark horse. Now here's where it gets interesting. The dark horse, and um, I, it's funny because I've been going back and forth with this kind of. I kind of asked myself this question this afternoon when I was watching these games. Um, and to me, um, in terms of a dark horse, because Tom makes a point, who's got to where you could see this happening, but it's like, well, there's just too many things that have to happen for him. But, but um, to me, my dark horse in this whole thing would be, uh, assuming they get in, okay, um, is Clemson. Mm. Clemson. That's a dark horse. That's, a dark That's horse. it is a dark horse. A dark horse. Uh, I say that because they've got a coach who's won this thing. Not there's not a lot of if you look around the landscape of college football yeah. there's not a lot of coaches with a ring on their finger. Dabble's got two of them, yeah, yeah. and I just have a feeling if they get in, he can win them. And again, it's all about the matchup, but right. um, if they get the right matchup, I could see him taking them on a run. I could see it happen. And, and the thing, it could six happen. different teams, yeah. all three of us. That's yeah. pretty impressive. <clears throat> so, and again, that's that is. I guess subjects, that makes it fun, right? That, yeah, that's yeah. that is subject to change. We, again, to be we'll see what happens in a couple weeks. But that's, that's everybody's today. got a chance. Everybody's got a chance right now. But we're gonna take a break. Save people come back. We're gonna do NFL. Okay. Pick segment. Pick segment. He's give have a guest picker this week. Pick pick this week and become. I like back. a guest picker. Yeah, guest picker. That's good. I like picker. that. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, same like will be NBA current update. The Celtics were in trouble tonight again. We'll talk about that same thing. Same NFL Detroit Lions, <clears throat> Super Bowl contender, for real. Segment two coming. Right Legit. Up. 